Hey everybody, how's it going? This is a new feature kind of section we're going, which is just pretty simple. We sit down and we talk to all the friends that come on the show. I should start it off because I realize that a lot of you guys don't know anything about me or Ashley either. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I grew up in Seattle in the rainy cold and I moved to LA like three years ago to pursue acting, music, and all that good stuff. I'm from Austin, Texas. I moved to LA to pursue my career as a TV personality. So I'm halfway there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I have so much long more to go, okay? <laughs> I'm just tooting my own horn. I live in the Bay Area. Nice. I San, Fran? yes. San Francisco, yeah. Is that where you were born and raised? Uh, raised about an hour northeast of the city, a little town called Fairfield. Oh. It's pretty glamorous. Is that close to like wine country? <laughs> Is that that glamorous? <laughs> that uh, yeah, wine yeah, it's pretty close to Napa, yeah. How many weekends did you spend going to Napa? in your adult life, would you say? Zero. Zero? <laughs> Zero? <laughs> what? I was there a lot for like sports things when I was younger. Oh, so okay. it lost its, I don't know. It's appeal, what? it's sort of. Also it's expensive to go do those things. Yeah, it's true, it's yeah. true. I'm not really in the right bracket. I'm not the target demographic <laughs> right now. <laughs> what sports were you playing? Soccer or? I played everything. Nice. I played a lot of basketball and soccer. And I'm not a sporty guy. I could probably tell. Him. I wimp out when it comes to anything with you the ball. You look pretty tough. Yeah, really? I'm, yeah, I'm some tough guys making fictional foods. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were a cheerleader for a bit too, and you, you yeah. were on camera too. I was a cheerleader in the first season of Friday Night Lights. Oh my god. It's one of my um, favorite shows. I was a cheerleader my whole life, so. So you knew That's what you were really doing. That's not really glamorous or cool, but actual cheerleading is amazing. That or you just kind of stand around in a cheerleading uniform, which is cool, but <laughs> not as cool as the real deal. That was the real deal. Yeah, yeah. I definitely had two knee surgeries. Oof. Um, what? Based on, well, cheerleading and I played softball, so. Oh, okay. The combination of those two oh, man. really intense sports caused me two knee surgeries, guys. Seeing how high they like fling people in the air for like the competitions they have until like, too. And like flipping and yeah, like, yeah. it's so fun. Like sometimes I really miss that. Like, do you guys ever like, you guys too, but do you ever like think about something that was a really important part of your life that you miss, but it's like, it's like not a part of your life at all anymore? Oh yeah. Okay, so cheerleading for me was like my life for like many, many years, like 10 to 15 years. Like that's oh, all I did wow. all day, every day and stuff. Mm -hmm. So now that that's not in my life anymore, sometimes like I wish I could like go back and take like a, another gymnastics class right. or like get, get thrown going. up in the air a couple more times, you know, cause you're just so used to this <laughs> kind of stuff. Awesome. But as you become adult, there's no adequate <laughs> substitute. I know. That's true. No, I do. I know, I'm serious. This may be a weird compliment, but you have a very soothing voice. Thank you. And I think yeah. it's very well suited for hosting and also especially your show, cause Thanks. it's like that compared with the music and it's like a beautifully lit, just very well shot <laughs> yeah, show. We have, I'm just like, I wanna a lot make of that. Yeah, I have a really low voice. That's actually like in the first few videos, that's all anybody commented about. Yeah. Everyone thinks I sound like a man. But what? Eh, I'm not, I don't know about that. I, I just don't think they low. know what a real woman sounds okay. like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, but I, I've never been self-conscious about it, so it was like the perfect thing for people to criticize me about. What's your Instagram filled with? Because I've seen it, just for the people out there that don't <laughs> Yeah! Um, my Instagram is me holding a lot of fruit and vegetables in front of my face. But what else? <laughs> and making like necklaces and stuff out of produce. I spend an embarrassing amount of time putting those things together. Oh, it's so fun! <laughs> when I'm freaking out, basically, it's like my little therapy thing, because yeah. I'm like, gonna go do that, like try to make some sort of jewelry out of something in my, right. on my kitchen table right now. It used to be just my friends thinking I was a weirdo. No. And no. now it's lots of people thinking I'm a weirdo. No, so. it's so <laughs> awesome. Double tapping that picture. Hey, and it's a lot of people who think you're awesome. I have been Crap very close to walking out the door with them. I'll forget I have them on. I had like oh a God, mushroom necklace so on the awesome. other day. <laughs> now, you used to sell stuff at the farmer's market, right? I had a business have a business called Side Saddle Kitchen. That's where I started out with the raw vegan nagra. I sort of started telling you this earlier, mm -hmm. but that's where I started out with that because people came for the pork bun me sandwiches and for right. like meaty stuff. So I felt like I had to rep the vegan thing. Right. But do it in a lighthearted way. The feedback was awesome and it was like market research every month. What no. was one of the like most popular vegan I started, entrees you made that people were like well, coming back for. Yeah, I, I, well I did almost all desserts. Um, oh, cool. That was like my specialty, I guess. But I did start doing kale chips uh -huh. at one point and people like freaked out about, I thought people were gonna like turn up their noses at it, but 
People were all about and the kale chip. And it's just all different flavor ones. Yeah. Like, Did you start the kale chip phenomenon? Was that you? Yeah, I don't know if I can <laughs> say that. <laughs> yes, I did. Perfect. I did. Yeah. You guys believe We're here today with the star. <laughs> <That's the lemon. laughs> the inventor of kale, kale chips. chips. Yeah. Like, how did you learn how to make all this stuff? I didn't start doing raw stuff, though, until maybe six, five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I was just buying cookbooks and obsessing over them and making stuff. But I feel like people have been cooking like this for the longest time. Because if you didn't have access to a fire or an oven and you need to figure out how to make something, you would yeah. have had to have essentially make something raw. Nuts and berries. Yeah, nuts and berries, straight mm -hmm. up. Straight up OG humans right there. OG eating all their humans. <laughs> I think That's they're right. called cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, obviously, there are huge health benefits to cutting out preservatives and just all sorts right. of processed foods and stuff. I mean, what 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 are the big things that really keep you going? That make you every day be like, you know, this is necessary for my body because of right. so. This type of food just makes me feel a lot better, mm -hmm. to be perfectly honest. Like, that's what got me into it in the first place. I wanted to feel better. I try not to talk about the things that aren't in the food right. because you know, not everybody, it's not, it's not gonna work for everybody to be yeah. like completely raw and vegan. Uh, the idea is just to incorporate more of these like nutrient dense foods in a way that is actually appetizing. Do you have like a nutritionist or someone that you see as well to talk like the, to get more of the sciencey side of things? Uh, no, I do a lot of research of my own. I've like can really nerd out on. Well, that's great. I mean, if there's, any, stuff. if there's any time to get a lot of literature on it, it's like now's the day and time to. Exactly. and and. That's exactly right. Even five years ago when I was getting into raw food, there were, you know, a handful of restaurants. And now right. there's so much. So many. It's stuff that is imitation meat that they make to look like me and to taste like me, but it's not. I almost feel like that kind of just dis defeats the purpose mm -hmm. of what, why it even exists. You're I, asking why anybody who doesn't want to eat meat would want to eat something mm -hmm. like Well, I'm just wondering, yeah, because it just, for me, it's always kind of confusing. People have such emotional connections to food. You, right. you still have oh, these, yeah. like, I grew up eating a BLT with, you know, for mm -hmm. lunch every day. Every day yeah, yeah. I want her. something that's like that. Um, Veggie Grill is like the transitional restaurant, like for the people right. that are like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There are different levels too to Yeah, that are right. wanting to be more mm -hmm. vegetarian or vegan and they can still do that there. I had a conversation with a guy once who was is a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, have you ever been to Veggie Grill? Like, it's so good. And I started describing what I love, which is this like buffalo chicken salad. I was like, oh dude, like I thought I was doing him a favor. I'm like, you're a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm gonna hook you up. I'm like, you're a vegetarian? You, oh, oh you never God. heard of it? You've never heard of Veggie Grill? <laughs> and he looks at me and he's like, actually I'm a vegetarian because I don't like chicken, but thanks for the suggestion. I was like, oh. Wait, that's Just what he chicken? said? Pretty much is what he was like, basically like, well, I don't Did he say it that sassy? Yeah, kind of. It was like, Cause I, I'm not, he's not on my team. I feel like uh, <laughs> right now in America, you, you grow up and like you're used to eating meat, even though if you go back in time, humans, the amount of meat that were that was in our diets really wasn't as much as it is now. You know, right now, like we're having giant steak dinners or whenever you go to a fast mm -hmm. food restaurant, which is so common for kids and stuff, you're mm -hmm. always eating something with some kind of meat in it. So I feel like I'm, I'm really glad that there's more awareness. I hope like your show brings a lot more, I'm sure. Yeah, no, I'm so excited that we had some um, vegan training on our show too. Yeah. Cause we could sure use it. <laughs> we don't. Sounds like you already know a lot about Veggie Grill. Well. <laughs> <laughs> our expertise. Well, that's about you it. You got it covered, yeah. I think. Oh, it no. is. Our expertise. That's about not much veggie. more than I know. Wouldn't veggie? Isn't Veggie Grill kind of like vegetarian fast food though? Yeah. Like it's probably on like the lowest rung I don't of know, like actually. vegetarian healthiness. I've only been there like once. I don't know. Really? Yeah. Well, you should go back. I'm going Buffalo later. Buffalo chicken salad Buffalo is chicken so salad. good. <laughs> We're all gonna just shut you down. It's like actually, I don't like veggie grill. Actually, I don't like things that I like chicken. Yeah. Well, I'll go eat veggie grill in the corner. And <laughs> if I have ranch all over my face, don't bother me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Laura, for being on the show. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. Nice. Make sure you check out her show, Raw Vegan Not Gross. It's on tastemade.com and youtube.com slash tastemade. It's all there. We uh, guested on each other's shows. It was mm -hmm. great. We made movie snacks. Uh huh. And we made My show. some new Lembus bread version dose. Uh, mm -hmm. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll read them. I don't know if anyone else will, but I'll read them all. I promise. You just won't <laughs> respond to them. I just won't respond to them. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll read them and promptly forget them and go to Veggie Grill to eat away all my sadness from nice. the comments. Can I get two? <laughs> Absolutely. This is the best go. advertisement yeah. for Veggie Grill. <laughs> Veggie Grill better give us a sponsor. <laughs> Better sponsor Peace Fiction. We're here. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll Hi. see you next time.
Thank you.